a reset, just buying some time, and it looks like they want to react snack in towards that tree position. But Genji, they're still what holding on to this. They don't want to give it up. What a great smoke coming in from Ethan. And the triple cat setup versus the cat hit. Genji is coming out on top. Rushing straight through to the side as well. So it's, it's looking pretty good for them in terms of the side take. But of course, you know, the post plant, the retake is now on. See Hiko just maintaining control of rafters. And 100 Thieves will just set themselves up here, readying themselves to coordinate in for a push. Turned out. Oh, this is going to be such a hard retake here for 100 Thieves. They have the paranoia still. They do not. So this is going to be almost impossible without an A main smoke. There we go, straight through the door, making the action happen. Genji only with the side to defend from, but they are connecting the bullets that they need to to win this round. Great stuff. Both players are 1-1 one, one split right now. If they make it a move quick, Genji will have a one on three out of sight. You can see GMD lurks out, lurks out A man, and he's doing this because he knows one cat, one B. So he knows A is open. But his team is rushing B right into these two players, Dan. Oh god, it's starting to get a little bit scary. Another headshot coming in from Hiko with that Sheriff, and it's going to slow things down. And they're going to have to wait for GMD. Indeed, that's uh, that late lurk through A definitely paying off. This is this is a lot of damage, and it just goes to show why Genji gave so much respect. He's himself into safety, takes the orb. That's a big play from a jet alone in A main. Yeah, and we can see that GMD has actually gained support position in mids. And he's going to be throwing that paranoia. We saw that previously to clear out position. Oh, no. Catwalk, Asuna though, able to defend, able to pick up the first kills. It's looking a little bit scary, but nice trace coming through from Michael. And GMD able to punish the rotation. That's what he was always there to do after that paranoia. So it's working out quite nicely so far for Genji. But Eco, always a problem, when he's, especially when he's by himself. He gets Spike even stronger, down takes down Michael, two more players on the side to go as he starts to try to work this gen position. Very difficult, finding the 1v1s, isolating players, but there's simply too much to do before Steel is arriving. And arrive he does, and with the Bucky, no less. Straight through the smoke! You saw it happening, but GMD, Ooh. he had the sense, he knew something. We've got the all lockdown destroyed. Steel, if he gets a kill, he actually has a lockdown available himself. Not operator though, it's not a... It's awkward at the best of times on a retake like this. Oh, so scary. A full 5 on 5 fight, Dan. That's a huge win from, from Mikael on catwalk. Pico now railing onto the A site. There comes the a lot uh, the Ghost Opera as well. That's going to find Queen in Hell. And it seems like all the ults are going to be used in this round for this retake. Michael and Kusta just stuck behind this dark cover. It's going to be so difficult. They're going to have to try to force the issue because the stick is coming. Michael, can he get it done? Finds the second pistol, comes out around Cat, and that's what Steel's about to do. There we go. Is there anything to destroy this? Immediately countered by Mikhail. He's so ready, and it's it's down. It's a 5 on 5 retake again, Dan, but no alts this time. And we have those knives out for win as well, so I feel like that's going to be very dangerous. It'll be so much harder to clear out these closer positions against them with no showstopper. There's so many players, They're rafters. They're scared to go. And they should be. They should be extremely scared. They're going to have to force the issue there. There goes, there goes the turret, and it's starting to swing together. Win stuck in the cloud, but sprayed down by Asuna. It is very difficult here for 100 Thieves, and it gets just worse and worse as Genji are able to defend all of these players coming out rafters, leaving Steel in a position where he just has to save and might be able to get one on the exit, but in control at the start of their next gun round. That's, it feels like there's nothing else that makes sense at this point. Yeah, they have to win a main against win. And it's... <laughs> it was too easy. I, you, you're so <laughs> But <laughs> so when win spots, you know, Nitro pushing a main, he also feels the Omen's pressure. He feels the pressure from, I believe, one other player. So it, it seems like now because of that, Genji are coming out really behind in the mid rounds because there's three players to slow them down from 100 Thieves. And there you go, Asuna finding the kill pizza. And oh, I love the ice orb there to help Asuna reclaim the ground in mid. And that completely destroys this split. Nitro playing around the wall as well. It, it, it's a desperation push at this point from Genji and it's failed. I mean, we see it a lot in EU. If, if you've been watching EU lately, the Sages at B with that wall exactly like that and then slows where they can chuck them into mid or slow down B if people try to come through the wall. 
and then the wall creates an extra angle for you to hide behind if you're nitro right there. There's so much space, and that's the B side under control here. Genji switching up the pace on 100 Thieves, and they'll even drop the lockdown, so that's going to really slow things down for 100 Thieves retake. Okay, everybody's in spawn here now for 100 Thieves. Who has the showstopper damage? Other than that, you can get in sight. There's the showstopper. Wind goes down towards the logs. Asana with a good entry. It's looking not too bad right now for 100 Thieves. Genji's starting to fight back though. There's the fake TP from GMG. With this aggression. Oh no, Nitro misses the wall, I think, a little bit right there. And the fights continue at Amen. And one for one, at least, as far as Genji are concerned, that yeah. will have them at an advantage. Quick information play coming through from Ethan, <laughs> regaining control around A main. But as I say that, the peak from Steel in mid is punished. So that means alarm bot down, Dan. Turret down. No impact from a killjoy. Oh, scary three on three for 100 Thieves. They, they get the drone tag, but there's over a minute left. So... What? Going for the frags, and I don't know how Sean wins that one, or how that even missed for Nitro, but it is what it is, and that's a 4 versus 2 advantage. Make that 4 versus 1. Kiko in the 1 versus 4. I don't know about this time, lads. We'll, <laughs> we'll have to see, but it's a tough one. Look, we've said in the past we're not going to count Hiko and Clutches, Dan. 8-2. I'm counting them out. I'm counting them out. <laughs> not I possible. I feel like that is reasonable. And he's down to 10 HP. Shogdar's coming through. Now there is an operator that could be saved, but I believe, but he will go down to Shogdar. Yeah, there's so much time in the round, and I feel like Genji have so much control already. Oh, Hiko with a pick, and still getting aggressive through A main, and Asana able to just make things a little bit slower towards that A site, so then Steel's able to capitalize as they're slowed on that cowl position. It's all coming together for 100 Thieves. Great follow-up from Steel with that operator. And nice little flourish at the end to finish the half with at least for them from Ethan. Oh, Michael, I like this. Playing for A main control. And oh, that's the spike as well. Down from Michael. The trade from win. That means Genji have spike control. And although, yeah, you got the A site 100 Thieves, you got to go back to A main now. And win can waste time. He's got a cloud burst, drops it. He can fall back. He can even rotate up catwalk, which looks like he might be going for that. And this has bought time for Gen G to get on to Rafters. Oh. And now another choke point for 100 Thieves to have to contest, but it's just simply too difficult. They are caught on both sides. The paranoia there, there goes the dash for a win to shut it down. Gen and Gen G is super prepared. Hey, look at the disrespect to the turret you made. It is cool. Expecting to walk through the smoke there. Sean as well as GMD, just doing so well in these forward positions, and oof, it's so it's really tough right now if you're in 100 Thieves shoes, of course. Very, very slim pickings. No margin for error, error at this point. EK just with the Ghost in the 1 versus 4. And Genji haven't shown signs of letting up a single time so far playing everything with such a degree of focus that they really they seem like they are they have leveled themselves up i haven't seen them looking so confident so far in this tournament until this moment play i see like they're so proactive like this, <laughs> this <laughs> wow <is> <laughs> yeah ethan taking down win michael's in the four position he doesn't want to give this up though he's Going to be forced to eventually, and there is a paranoia used actually. It's great to get that out of the hands of the attackers at least. Michael falls back, Asana, some space gain towards that B side as well. Spike being picked up by Nitro now as they'll all go back, but GMD in mid. This could actually cause problems because they have to cross these angles. They are rotating towards B, and Genji know absolutely everything that's happening. They are two against four though, so of course they are working from a great disadvantage in numbers. But again, holding the cross at GMD can... Oh, well, there's the dark cover, so that ruins that one. But he's going to go forwards through this one. So confident you said it, Sean, but it won't work out. They don't have a drone, they also don't have a wall, and they always use that wall in these A hits. So this, the hit seems a little bit hobbled coming out of 100 Thieves, but they're going to secure the site at very least. Oh, the timing is beautiful oh. for Asana. 
so intelligent from him. And there's three versus two on the retake now, and it's a couple of sheriffs and the phantom. It's not looking great. Ethan able to take down Sean, and all of a sudden, it starts to look very favorable for 100 Thieves defending the spike. Lots of time on the spike, lots of time for the defenders to work this retake. The resources aren't there, but oh, a distraction. Michael punishes Ethan, turning away, and it's down to steal with the operator. We've seen great things from him. He's got to do it again. Finds the shot, the one versus one, and again, he will not miss. He had Dicey. You know, that's so good for an operator having those jet movement abilities. Seeing it on Killjoy it seems a little clunky, but Steel's kind of making it work so far. Nothing's come of the wall just yet in terms of actual frags, and in fact, it's going to go the reverse. Nitro falling off of the wall thanks to Sean. However, the trace comes through, and it's hard to see exactly what's going on. Exactly, but with Sean's double, that will change everything. They can't get through the choke point, and 100 Thieves have no time to do anything else. It's just steal again with the operator, and well, he's going to go down, and that's that 13 to 6. Gen G with a. And aggressive. Mikhail's so aggressive over here. He's droning in B lobby on defense. How is 100 Thieves going to break this B site? They're pinched. Yeah, it's looking quite difficult, but it is a pistol and they can certainly shoot their way out of a situation like Spike this, planted. although they are losing firepower by the moment as Asuna goes down. Steel now joins the ranks of the Fallen. Nitro with a quick double to respond, but it's just too much damage from Gen G. And, and I gotta say, it looked like Genji were very prepared for that. That wall mid strat and go under tube into the B site. That is that is something that a lot I've seen a lot of teams really like. Yeah, I totally agree. And it's gonna be a massive bonus if three pistols being carried through. Not really going too much investment, but Hundred Thieves going aggressive here to meet this in the A site, and it's looking kind of crazy. Win on but a Spectre. Up. That's so sick. They walled up. Oh, that's beautiful. I actually missed I've that too. I've never seen that. Oh, I love that. It'll be uh, interesting to see so if we... I wonder if we'll get more of that in the rest of this half. Quite unlucky, though. They take out the two players that really don't matter much on Icebox, right? If they took out the Omen, hitting this B site would be almost out of the question. It would be so difficult to hit this B site without smokes. But he's alive, so both sites are open. You can see Gen.G is kind of fishing around, and they're going to get caught off guard on this rope. Ooh. One enemy remaining. Nico able to take down both players, finishing it off, only losing two. But again, the investment from Gen.G was quite minimal. Cube. Ooh, opera soft damage. Oh, Steel is ready for that one, though. Better position on him. GMD now, does he want to make a play? He's going to hear some movement, so he could decide to just talk to his teammates and tell them what's going on. He could try to get the flank going. But he's just going to stay passive and hold on to the tube position as 100 Ds go to finish on the B site. So Mikael just droned A and saw nothing. He's cheating over to B you now. They'll have run. three people here before the hit. Yeah, like you said, this, this kills play all. So Recon gets a ping. And now we're in a five on three. Things get real difficult for Genji here. Ooh, is he gonna make it? Oh no, GMD can't get out of the radius in time. He did get a kill though, and he's not going to get punished. So that actually was a pretty strong play, but the res comes through from Nitro. 100 Thieves really wanting to make sure they'll secure this one. Michael taking down Steel though. That makes it a three versus four on this retake. And right now the defenders are knocking on the door and the spike was only just planted. There's lots of time. The paranoia goes out. And the swing behind yellow Last commences. The trades are not looking good though here for Gen G. 100 Thieves looking to convert this one. Michael though wants to be king. Oh no, Win ha Wynn has a rifle here. So Steel's going to end up peeking into him. And this is interesting because this is a cool little smoke setup. And this Rude coming out there. Nice find Ooh. by Win. Takes down Steel. That's a massive pick. Another Ooh. one. The trade attempt late from Eco fails. That's going to leave 100 Thieves in a very bad position. They have to work B now, and there's going to be sound cues there for GMD, who's sitting in the middle by Orange, so he's going to know exactly what's going on. The rotation's coming through. Ooh, how does 100 Thieves stabilize here? It seems so difficult in the 3 on 5. Get the spike down, that's a huge win, but Nitro's still really low. There is a showstopper available for Asana, but Ethan's going to take the forward battles. They know they have to get some early wins here on the fight to make this even possible, but it's not looking too good. 
We've got Nitro playing by the wall here in this gap. Really scary position. Asna caught throwing the paint shells. And although Nitro gets that pick and is playing around the wall so well. Oh, and it's a very fast push through mid here, going straight over Boy. Let's see what can be found with his showstopper. Oh, the rocket sent, but it will not find its target as Gen G are defending extremely well right now. Steel with a nice double to give a chance here for 100 Thieves. And he's going to be able to make his way into the site as well. But there's only so much that he can do win with such a good pick. And at least Ethan in the 1v3 now. And the spikes in the middle of the of the open here, and that's going to be very difficult for Ethan to recover. He's got a smoke now available. Need to take the fights though, <laughs> and a win wow. with one straight inside of his head. It's a very delicate dance, and you can see that Sean is anticipating that this is possible. Right now, Genji leaving player on A tells them tells us they know that Steel likes to lurk those spots. And Asuna, though, he's so deep towards Snowman getting these frags that that's surely going to convince the rotation. But the running's hard of Steel, and it looks like it was a beautiful no, hold from no. Sean. He waited long enough to catch Steel out. With that said, that's though, a huge miss from Hiko. Now we're in a three on two, and this could literally go either way. Yeah, it's looking very tough. Nitro, oh, he's got to find this kill, and he will. Takes down Sean, leaving Kusta. One versus two now. And they're going to play this so disciplined. Do I say that? The swing comes through from Nitro, and he's good off the first shot, and that's going to be... He just you know, walks on in, plants the spike. Now we just get chaos here. They're going to break the wall, so it's a little bit easier for them to defend the site. You Trying going through as well. This, my re this retake is very tense. It means a lot for both of these teams, Dan. Both <laughs> Killjoy Ultimates coming down the lockdowns in play. Sean trying to lurk out there. He's got the ability to just get out there a little bit and get back behind the radius. Ooh, didn't going in though. Again, trying to find the difficult timing. Nitro, he's going to get traded off of that. So it was probably worth it though, taking down Wind with those knives. Asna defending close by the spike, able to get traded out as well. So Genji are making ground, they're making distance. The trades are going their way so far, but it's a 2v2 and it's going to be... Ethan to just take it all. A hundred thieves him going down there, dropping the operator as well. GMT's gonna choose to use oh, the dark cover no. to absolutely oh, crush no. <laughs> with the Bucky. And I don't know how the hell he's getting so much value. Asuna dropping off to find win at least to give some kind of a chance here. But that is outrageous. And you know what? I feel like it is just just desserts for steel. Being on the receiving end this time of the Bucky. That is very true. He deserves it. He deserves it. <laughs> I have he, the spike. He, that's karma. That has to be karma, right? Just getting buckied like that? Yeah. After all the bucking we've seen out of him. I feel like if we could see his face, he'd just be nodding and just be like, yep, that makes sense. <laughs> These guys are going to walk into the A site. And again, Genji is playing full retake, full retake on this A site. And I think if 100 Thieves just you know walks into the site and everything goes like it seems like it's going to go, we're going to see a lot more A hits in the future. Because they're now realizing the A site is a little bit weak. The showstopper is up for Asana, so that does actually make this quite scary. Being able to defend and use that showstopper as the defenders come in to retake through these choke points might give opportunity for at least one free kill out of that ultimate. And then it's a 2v3, and they're going aggressive actually around screen. I love this. Instead of falling back, what like you might expect, they know they have to get early kills. Oh, the jump peak is genius. Showstopper out! Incredibly kill, a uh, key frags coming through from Ethan. Asuna though, in the one versus two, very doable. Playing around 410, seeing what he can find, looking for the 1v1. And he's gonna find it, my oh. god, Asuna! That's insane! Just one more to go as he buys time, working his way back around 410. And he's gonna see Sage, and he's gonna take him down. Great play from Asuna for the Rebel Clutch. Mod A, and it's gotta feel very confusing for Genji because Right now, 100 Thieves kind of resetting the situation. They could go anywhere right now. Yeah, and they walled mid to peek into B. Steel goes down again. Opening death twice in one round. I can't feel too good. But Austin, this man is mad right now. Yeah, but he just doesn't care. We get the res coming out from Sean, though. That puts it back to a three versus three. It's kind of crazy. Kusa with a swing. That elevated position around B long. And Nitro, easy punish under Michael. Trade through from Sean. And now it's up to Sean. To try to clutch with Sage, he's got an ice orb. That's basically it in terms of utility. He has full HP at least. And right now, you know, there's 30 seconds, so not too much pressure on 100 Thieves. They've got time to get this spike planted. 
Which one might get caught here on the rotation. The flick comes through. Ethan is not going to whiff that. Fantastic for Gen G's chances here. Equalizing into a four versus four. The spike still needs to be planted in this position. Oh, peeks through the Nano Swarm Cooster. What a genius. So confident is knocking every player down. There's only Hika remaining. Out comes the Hunter's Fury. He wants to find Cooster. He knows he's low. He wants to destroy that lockdown. But you know what? He's going to get absolutely nothing. Swarm with the wall there to try to get something go. Oh, the classic, the jumping classic from Sean. That stings the steel. Didn't know what hit him. And now, four versus four. On the plate, Dan. And the spike is planted. And as you say, up on the belt. So it's a pretty difficult position to deal with. Asuna can just toy with them. He doesn't even have to commit to any fights to be an absolute pain in the ass for Genji. But Genji have the man advantage right now. It comes the push straight through. Ethan opens it up nicely. And Asuna's pain shots come through as well. So great start from 100 Thieves able to pick it up but spike could go down so i wonder if we'll see some force by action in the following round just all slimy into kitchen right now <laughs> and that kitchen That's position steel's getting close with the bucky looking for that revenge here comes the bucky steel's not going to find anything with the bucky two kills going towards genji but here comes nitro they have the specters they should be able to clean up most of these players spikes can't though that's a lot of money again in the bank Gonna help out Gen G, regardless of what happens here, but still Nitro is looking to see if he can find that cleanup. That's back there. Of course, you don't want to overexpose yourself. Oh. And there goes the Bucky dropped by Steel. Put to great use. Looking really scary here now as Ethan tries to find his way into the site. Gets tagged by the drone. Oh no. He does manage to take down Wind though. On the player on the corner. Ethan still picks it up. Alone now against Kusta. In the 1v1, time is starting to be a problem. There goes the Nano Swarm. Oh, Kusta with the Ghost. It just does too much. But Oli's just pressuring so hard right now. And that's going to really feel very strong. And oh. I like this, though. 100 Thieves trying to actually respond by taking mid control. But it's, they're getting punished for doing it. Both B players are down. And someone's already in B that they aren't even aware about, Dan. There's already an Omen here. And he's killing Hiko in the side of the head in mid. The round is over, Dan. It's a 5 on 2. These two players are on A. And Gen G has no intentions of heading that way. Great, what a great round point. by Genji off the back of that frag from Kusta. Ah, oh, they're just Genji are, are playing so much. I feel like they're playing so much better across the board it's from just a week ago. I, I really felt I didn't feel underwhelmed a week ago, but I didn't feel like they had that dark horse or that potential to be a good dark horse pick. But right now, as you said, they're looking fantastic these jets in pro play right now is they could play aggressive they could play passive and look at this wall oh my goodness ethan tp is on top of nitro's wall it doesn't matter we're already in a five on three yet again yeah this this these eco rounds it feels like a hundred these have had so many eco rounds across these two maps Genji, it seems like they, they've had the right answer and the right setup, the perfect counter every round so far. You can tell they've done their homework coming into this matchup. And if, I, if I'm being honest, like I, I don't see how 100 Thieves comes back into this game because they're such a structured team that in order for them to win this game, they have to break that structure. They have to go into the unknown. They have to take the gloves off of some of their players Spike because everything a. they normally do is very readable right now. Well... As you say about taking the gloves off, Sean, Nitro has taken everything off. He's just out there right now, exposed, but doing everything to keep this round alive for his team. Playing screens, aware that it could be that mid lurk, just giving left. up some of the sights so that he can play with his team. It's a three versus two in favor of 100 Thieves, thanks to Nitro with those two quick kills. Time is a problem now as well. Win. A flick missed. And the, oh my god, the res comes in. Wins in a 1v4. He's got to get the spike. He's got to plant it. And he's got no time. The round is over. The round is over. And if Win survives this, that would be a miracle because what's up? It's Asana. And he, that will allow him to put his attention elsewhere. Spike is planted. The mid play is actually being defused by 100 Thieves. So. He's definitely looking a bit better on the retake than otherwise they would have let these players up mid and Asuna He's gonna find the duel against Kusta who is going to win it no wow, Again and again Kusta's winning this mid battle Dan and that he takes out the star player on the retake I've got a res available on Sean as well and there's no ultimates here 400 thieves unless he gets a kill 
Nitro picks off win, going aggressive on the Sage. The Battle Sage coming through for 100 Thieves. Can he do it again, though? Can he make the difference? He's doing it so far. Another headshot from Nitro as Michael goes down, hits the ground. Hard as Kuster is now just the only man left standing. He's going to have to try to get there in time, but Hiko... Time for this rotation for the defenders. It's 30 seconds, so they can't go back to the other side. Great pick from Asuna. 100 Thieves might be slowing this down just enough to give themselves a chance to win this round. There goes the Hunter's Fury, and... This is now looking extremely bad for Genji. They've got to get the spike planted, but it's looking almost impossible. Asuna's putting the pressure on. Nitro is behind the wall, and they He's don't have time. The ult comes through, is but they don't time? have time to get the spike there. I don't there. think there's time. There is no time. So long as they stay alive, as long as Asuna lives, the round is over. He's got. He's, he's going to do it. He's going to be alive in time, and that's the Red Bull clutch coming through. My God. Oh, but it looks like it looks like they realize what's going on here. This is not going to be all, all of the way. Win gets the opening pick. Asuna goes in, but Win responds in kind. Great stuff with the operator. Gen G looking pretty damn good right now. It's only one player left. So even though 100 Thieves didn't fully buy the fake, it doesn't matter because they moved out of position enough that Gen G. They just don't think that. 100 Thieves has the economy to take these lines. And so far, so good. Some of the early challenges will go the way of Gen G. Nice shock dark kill from Hiko. And if they can find anything out of Asuna's operator, anything out of these sheriffs, maybe there's a world where this can happen. And I'm just going to go down by the crates. Asuna, you talked about not having much to fight the lines. They have that one big gun, and it's so far delivering. Asuna, will he try to go more aggressive with this? They're going to be forced to try to peek. There's a dark cover comes through to block Asuna off. He's got to go forward as the spike defuse is coming in and it's going to be defused. There's nothing that they can do about it. Enemy remaining. So scared for 100 Thieves right now, Dan, because this A site has proven to be very weak. Oh, there we go. Win gets the right click. Looking for the second, oh. and he gets it as well. Ethan goes down, and 100 Thieves, they needed Ethan to survive to get a kill something. Playing retake now is going to be hard. They've got the lockdown from Steel. It feels like that's their best chance here in this one to take this round, or do they save? I feel like there's so many questions right now for 100 Thieves, John. I think they have to save this lockdown for an actual gun round. They're debating it right now. They, they need a pick. They need something to open up this round, and it's not coming. Genji playing so disciplined. And you can see Steel moving away from the site, pretty much insinuating this is going to be a save. 100 Thieves has to save these weapons and take them into the final round. Oh, and Honestly, feel, though, they might be worse with it. feels so much pressure to trade there, and it's just so difficult. It's so difficult. I mean, the Jet Dagger she wins so good with the move, and I mentioned it before the game. He's just floating. How can you have good crosshair placement if he's creating it? This is, this is getting so tense. You can feel just the round slows down here. The A hit's going to come. 100 Thieves feel it coming. You can see four people kind of huddled around this site right now. Ethan with the information all further tells them that this is going to be an A hit. Oh. And this would be 100 Thieves eliminated from the tournament if they lose this round. It's all on the line here for 100 Thieves. The situation is looking very grim, but there's not that much time to plant the spike, so they have to start moving forward now for that spike plant. Genji looking to get it down, and they will. And it's a retake here. Steel has the lockdown for that retake, but they are lo they've lost Nitro. They're in a four versus five on this one. Asuna, backside, doesn't have the showstopper. He'd have to get two kills to get it as he pressures forwards. Oh, he's going to use the wall here. He's going to find the pick wow. on to Sean. And with that, maybe there's a chance. Window on the trade, playing the pie's position, dropping off. And there comes the Hunter's Fury as well from Michael. It goes from bad to worse here for 100 Thieves as they start to fall until...